and also believes that her juice can help you regrow your limbs, regrow your organs, and if you really want to top it off, she also believes it can cure the gay. Hello and welcome back to the Dr. Phil series. Before we get into anything, just wanted to take notice of the Rock V2. Seeing as we've got the whole squad assembled, I thought we'd watch some more Dr. Phil. Today we're going to be looking at why a self-described debunker of pseudoscience claims creator of Jilly Juice is preying on vulnerable people. She's being attacked by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Jeff Holiday. Jeff Holiday likes to disprove really shitty products, kind of like Kickstarter crap, but more serious. Start off. Start off, knobhead. You bloody cock knobhead. Bellend. It's because this crap is actually quite serious. Like, we'll get into it in a minute. Like, Jilly Juice. Jilly Juice isn't good. It might sound like a Fortnite potion or some shit, but it's it's not. It does nothing good for you. In fact, we'll get into what it does to you. Jeff Holiday is nobody to me. He's just somebody that wants to make money and found a place to do it. Jeff Holiday is an out of work YouTuber. Off the bat, she's already called Jeff Holiday an out of work YouTuber. I don't think she understands really like the whole premise of YouTube, so I'll explain it to you now if you're watching this lady. Um, YouTube is a job. That's his work. That's how many subs Jeff Holiday has. He has 65k, uh, and he averages like 10k views a video. And that, uh, they're about 30 minutes long. That sounds like some decent money. He's got Patreon as well. Let's have a look at his Patreon. And his Patreon has 191 patrons. I think he's doing okay for himself. That's not really out of work. That's full-time YouTuber. Who knows that he can get hits and clicks. Well, you already know she's out of touch when she's calling it hits and clicks. And some people are drinking her jilly juice, which is, by the way, supposed to cure cancer. Paying your taxes and maybe give me a cut of whatever you're making because you're obviously making a lot of money off me. I thought she just called him an out of work YouTuber, but he's making lots of money. Let's see, did she make a video on his go, her go, -go juice? Well, he's not making a ton of money off of her. <laughs> I'm sure she's making more with a fucking jilly juice for God's sakes. Jilly juice, miracle drink that cures cancer, regrows missing lit, what? <laughs> and it reverses aging, or just a dangerous scam. Well, I wonder what one it is. Well, Jillian says a group of online trolls who have never tried her Jilly Juice are accusing her of trying to scam people and kill mothers and babies. Wow! <laughs> Jeff Holiday has called her a mother and baby killer. Is the Jilly Juice that bad? To scam people and kill mothers and babies. Now, Jeff Holiday. She thinks it's funny though. You can always tell when someone's like pretty sure whatever they've been talking about and preaching is complete horseshit and all in their head. When they get accused of something that bad, they're like, <laughs> yeah, he thinks I'm that. Wow. Okay. Now, Jeff Holiday, a debunker of pseudoscience on YouTube, says Jillian is a liar and preys on desperate people. Take a look. We've got YouTubers like myself who make videos on Dr. Phil episodes. You've also got YouTubers who take it to the next level and appear on the Dr. Phil show themselves. Not bad. <laughs> it's very simple, Jilly Juice is a fraud. If you follow Jillian's protocol and you drink about a gallon of this crap a day, you're gonna end up drinking four times the, the recommended, recommended healthy amount, amount of, of salt. Dated wham, I should have to serve her. You got any shield pots? I, I really need to get some shield. Oh, mate, I've got uh, two Jilly Juices on me. Jillian also believes that her juice can help you regrow your limbs, regrow your organs. Chili juice can regrow a limb. Look guys, I've been, I've been drinking chili juice all day. Whoa, would you look at that? And if you really want to top it off, she also believes it can cure the gay. Fuck off. Fuck off. Not only does this not do what she thinks it's supposed to do, but it is actually harmful because it's convincing people to give themselves sodium poisoning. Lovely. What a wonderful human being. That can lead to confusion, dizziness, seizures, coma, comas and strokes, and w what's worth them? Strokes yes, and yeah. death. Great. Fuck me. What's wrong? Why am I dying? Have you been drinking that jilly juice? Yeah, but jilly juice seems fine. That was really morbid. Fucking hell. Jillian believes that her juice has special properties because it fights candida. She believes that candida is a source of all disease, dysfunction, chronic illness, cancer. The jilly juice up for a fight, is it? Ding, 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 round one. Jilly juice versus every illness on the fucking planet. Cancer. The overall goal with Jillian's protocol is very simple. You have to fight the candida by drinking the jilly juice and increasing good bacteria. How you do this? Well, that's simple. You just have to have waterfall. I, I'm so fucking confused. Which is their clever name for violent diarrhea. 
<laughs> oh, chili juice causes severe diarrhea and death. Amazing. Oh my god, she thinks that having severe diarrhea will cause AIDS and cancer. No fucking way. I thought I was gonna really disagree with this guy. And it's not just because I'm a, you know, lad on YouTube as well, but I genuinely really agree with him. Been on record, lovingly calling this a poop cult. Well, it's safe to say she's part of the shittiest cult out there. That wasn't funny, was it? No. And also believes that her juice can help you regrow your limbs, regrow your organs. Regrow my organ? Yeah, just take my heart out while I drink this jelly juice and I'll just regrow about 10 minutes. Don't worry, lad. If you really want to top it off, she also believes it can cure the gay. <laughs> oh, no. This, is, this gets worse and worse the more I fucking watch it. Like, the more this guy says, the more I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? How is she sat on that stage? How? She's gonna have a mental breakdown. Jeff, thanks for being here. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> My name. That wasn't funny. I'm, I'm sorry. Outrageous and dangerous. I think they're insane. Absolutely mm -hmm. insane. And I, I think you are actually a dangerous human being. Okay, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. Because I think that shitting yourself silly will regrow both my arms and little toes. You have all of these claims, but you have no data. You have no, no data. basis for this. <laughs> my diarrhea drink causes anti-gay. <laughs> oh, what's this? It will cure my gay. You need a little Wow! I'm no longer gay. Years old, you don't I, have- Well, of course not. I'm not missing any limbs, so- <laughs> I regroom both my arms. What are you talking about? I'm a fucking lizard. <laughs> this is- Wait. <laughs> Wait. Mark Zuckerberg wife. We found her, boys. Wait, can lizards regrow limbs? I swear they can. Can lizards regrow limbs? Oh, okay, so in my recommended, there was another clip with her in it. Dr. Phil, audience member jumps on stage, tries to attack guest. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I gotta put my headphones on for this one. You, you acknowledge that they're gonna feel really not great when they start drinking this. What I'm acknowledging is that we're redefining the role of pain in our world because what you do with pain right now is you squelch it with a pill, of power, something, or opioid. Usually, when you're in pain, it's not really the feeling of healing. It's usually the feeling of... Ow, I fucking hurt myself. Arms and stuff. Absolutely not, because I haven't gotten there for, I've only been doing this for a year. So you don't have any proof that this really grows on. Proof is all relative. I've seen proof in smaller experiential well, circumstances. that's not relative. You have proof, you know. Proof is relative. Oh my God. What the fuck? How is proof relative? That makes no fucking sense. I have enough training what by looking training? at the internet and actually taking it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. She's learned from the internet, boys. How to build a brick house in Minecraft. That's literally the training she's had. The internet, actually. Yeah, and this is where people find this is on the internet, right? No medical education or degree. No. You have no medical license. Nope. You have no scientific studies. Nope. You have no clinical studies. Nope. Human studies, animal studies. No, do you need, do, do you want to see what they look Do you need, oh my God, she just asked, do you need these? Well, I mean, yeah, if you're claiming that a juice you've made can cure cancer and AIDS and the gay. You can regrow organs and limbs. Right! If you Reverses aging, live to 400, a cures ADHD and autism, type 2 diabetes, cancer, Down syndrome, AIDS, and homosexuality. Then you might as well just do this and see what it does to you. That is just outrageous. I did. That is outrageous. Of course it is. It could have What the fuck? What do you did you want to try the juice? Get out of here! No, no. Oh the fuck! Oh god! I just thought I'd read the comments. I love cabbage. I use pink Himalayan salt and I eat the juice with the cabbage. I have since when I was a child. And now 45 with RA, thyroid issues, liver and kidney disease, plus PSA. So what exactly is she trying to sell here? She's nothing but a modern day snake oil salesman. Ah, that's basically all the ingredients inside of her juice, by the way. Anyway, um. 
I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I'm going to release part two next week of the last episode I did. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see part two of that one, and maybe even part two of this one, remember to hit the like button and comment down below what you thought of it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, make sure you put notifications on, because then you get notifications when I stream with uh, those two bad boys. And, you know, we do some we do some fun and games with those boys. So if you are a Patreon, I love you. If you're not, you can be, and I love you just as much. Whiteboard here that goes in the background of all my videos, and it's at the end, just before the outro. It's just, uh, everyone is pledged to me. If you pledge $5 or more, boom, you're on the whiteboard. Thanks again. Peace.